Hello, Mayflower members and friends. As your moderator, it is my pleasure to give a brief review of 2020 and share a preview of the 2021 budget. It has almost become passe to even mention how uniquely challenging this past year has been. All who are tuned into this service today know firsthand how our resilience has been and continues to be tested. We've all had to rethink and reimagine what daily life looks like. What was commonplace became a puzzle to be solved and resolved again and again throughout the evolution of this pandemic and its constant presence in all that we do. On the bright side, pajamas have become acceptable business attire at my company, so I take the small wins where I can get them. I suppose you do as well. A church was not spared the impact of COVID, as we all know too well. Our experience as members of Mayflower has really been altered this year. Many of us have not stepped into this sanctuary, uh, which is a shame, since last February, and we miss it. Uh, we miss the solidarity, we miss the social interaction, we miss worshiping together in person, and that's a big part of how we experience faith. We crave it, and we want it back, and we will have it back. I'm 100% certain of that. The vaccines are a light at the end of the tunnel, and in the face of these challenges, these temporary, and I really emphasize temporary challenges, our faith in God and our support for the mission of Mayflower do not waver. And I think that's worth repeating that our faith in God and our support for the mission of Mayflower, our church, our church, that we will have back to normal sometime this year, those don't waver. We take the long view at Mayflower. We understand that this too shall pass. And when it does, we will celebrate together and give thanks and be grateful together with really a greater appreciation for what being together means to us. So in spite of the parts of 2020, we would just as soon forget uh, the virus whose name I shall not repeat, the departures of pastors Mark and Lynn, and the retirements of our longtime office manager Beth Shimko and our longtime business manager Lou Bartos. 2020 did bring us real reasons for celebration. Uh, we gained two beloved interim pastors in Jonathan and Ruth, and I really thank them for the way that they've provided a seamless transition. Our new office manager, Amy Herman, and our new business manager, Andy Eli. These are very talented and dedicated additions to Mayflower, and we are very fortunate to have them. One day soon, uh, you may even get to meet them. Unlike many churches and small businesses and nonprofits, in 2020, Mayflower was able to maintain its full staff without cutting hours. That's really amazing. I'm very proud of that fact. Could not have been done without the continued support from this very committed congregation. So to all of you who contributed to Mayflower and to its ministry in 2020, a very big heartfelt thank you. And while we could not meet indoors, our youth ministry, Bible studies, and other groups were able to meet outside under the portico physically distanced until very late in the year, thanks to the kind weather we had this fall. And when the weather turned, they all turned like you've turned to Zoom. So standing here again in the sanctuary reminds me that we could not celebrate some of our favorite times and our favorite services this year like we normally would. Thanksgiving and Christmas outdoor celebrations were very, very special. Anyone who attended can attest to that. Additionally, the Christmas music produced by Julia and Scott and others, nothing short of spectacular. So proud of them. As the year came to a close, our pastoral search committee made excellent progress, securing four candidates selected and vetted for interviews this coming week. This puts us slightly ahead of schedule, potentially allowing for the hiring of the new senior pastor in the April Look for updates in the next couple of weeks. A profound thank you to the search committee 
and to Ginger Young for her leadership as chair of this committee. So I would like to give a brief budget update for 2020 and 2021. Thanks to your stewardship, we met our 2020 budget obligations, even with the considerable and unbudgeted expenses of a pastoral search. For 2021, we have scaled back the church budget by more than 20% versus 2020. We plan to maintain staff fully, which is a blessing, and we have reduced our administrative budgets as much as we feel we responsibly can. Where we thought we, made to re we may need to reduce the outreach budget to 3 or 4% of our annual budget, we are absolutely thrilled to say that the 21 budget commits at least 10% to outreach. Outreach has been a hallmark of Mayflower since my family joined many years ago, and that trend will continue in 2021. At last count, we have received pledge cards from 202 households totaling roughly $720,000. Thank you so much to all who have pledged for 2021. We are in the process of applying for this round of the Paycheck Protection Program, also known as PPP, the COVID stimulus funds made available through the federal government. And even with the anticipated stimulus funds, we are still roughly $80,000 shy of the 2021 budget needs. I would like to personally thank Ken Goodson for his admirable work as this year's stewardship chair. His considerable efforts got us about 90% to the finish line. Thank you, Ken. The remaining gap equates roughly to our outreach commitments. And put another way, we are counting on the remaining pledges to fulfill our charitable giving promise. And I am very confident that we, as committed stewards, of Mayflower's mission will fill this gap together. Full budget details for 2021 will be posted next week on the Mayflower website and look for them by email and by hard copy in Jonathan's newsletter. It is my privilege to serve as your moderator for this year, this challenging year. I'm consistently inspired by the dedication of the church staff and of Mayflower membership. You are all exactly what make Mayflower such a special place. Thank you.